My friend has a theory that Elvis isn't really dead. He says that Elvis got tired of the limelight and faked his own death. He also has a theory that aliens regularly come to the Earth, but the government keeps their visits a secret. His weirdest theory is that all the leaders of the world are actually shape-shifting extraterrestrial reptiles pretending to be human. I have a hunch that my friend only says these things to make himself sound clever down the pub. You could say that I have a theory about my friend's theories. But really, I'm just guessing at what motivates him to say such outlandish things. My theory about my friend is just a theory. It could be wrong. Maybe he really does believe the things he says. In which case, there may be other explanations or theories to explain why my friend is such a fan of these conspiracy theories. As for me, I'm a fan of scientific theories, like the Big Bang Theory, the theory of evolution by natural selection, the germ theory of disease, plate tectonics theory, the theories of special and general relativity, and my favourite, quantum theory. Some people say that these are just theories and believe that they have not been proven by science. They talk and think about them as somehow inferior ideas about how the world works because they're called theories rather than, say, facts or laws. But these people are mistaken. It's not entirely their fault. It's because the word theory doesn't mean quite the same thing in the world of science as it does when used in general conversation, where it can mean a guess or a hunch or something that isn't quite known for sure. When scientists call something a theory, they mean a set of ideas that does three things. One, a scientific theory puts forward a comprehensive explanation for things we observe in nature. Two, a scientific theory provides strong evidence for that explanation. And three, perhaps most importantly, a scientific theory provides ways to make predictions about the aspects of the world it explains, which we can then test by further observation. In everyday conversation, we can dismiss someone's idea about something by saying, it's just a theory. But we can't dismiss the theories of Darwin and Einstein and other great scientists in the same way. In science, an idea about how the world works usually only gets accepted as a theory once it's been tested and shown to be supported by observations and other evidence. Things that are distinctly lacking from theories about Elvis's continued existence, alien visits to the Earth and shape-shifting reptiles running the world. What I'm trying to say is that it doesn't make sense to belittle an idea in science by saying it's just a theory. Because when scientists refer to an idea as a theory, well, they're giving it the highest praise it can have.